unless you want to be a medical esthetician which is working under the dermatologist but other than that you really don't need to know that stuff but it's good to still know like I know those things but like um we do a lot of things with uh, electric modalities meaning like a galvanic we do microdermabrasions we do microcurrent we do led lighting so stuff like that but um it is a good program to get in uh you do have to take a state board license which means that you have to actually go and perform on a dummy head in front of a proctor that you know all the skin um sanitation things and how you apply makeup and all those things they basically want to see how you will act if this is a real client it, will you keep you and your client safe so that you keep your license and do you deserve a license so it's called state board and that's what they get you prepared for and at 400 hours you have to pre-app out meaning that you have to actually go and pay an application fee i don't know how it is for every school but at my school we had to pay 49 dollars to do the pre-app at 400 hours so by the time that the applications went through and you get a check and you get a date for state board to go it was like you're out of school and now you got your date if you wait longer it's actually worse so don't do that but it's a good program it's about ten thousand dollars and some change um of course you can use financial aid some people have to take out loans i have to do it both but um yeah, I'm actually graduating like a month early, so it's real busy, real hectic. I got a lot of things going on, so I thought I'd sit down and finally make a video since people were getting on me about it. I'll eventually do a makeup video. I'm not sure when because, you know, I do makeup and all that crazy stuff. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do and when. I might just go get a photographer and have him record it for me and give you guys like a live, real, high quality, good makeup content. But if not, I'll just do it at home here in my room but um what else am i gonna talk on yeah so besides that we do a lot of facials we deal with skin conditions not as severe as a dermatologist would like we don't go deep deep into the layers of skin we just do the surface of the skin uh we do waxing uh what else do we do of course we do makeup you can also go it's a whole wide range of things that you can do like don't think that you're just secluded to a spa like you can go work for a cruise ship you can go work at the airport they have like spas and places like that in the airport you can go uh work for a company and be the person that learns about the brand and go and train people you can be a manager you can work for cosmetics you could do so many things with your license like you're not just stuck to waxing and doing facials like me i'm going to do like a, a dibble dabble of it all because eventually i want to get my own suite and then my business but um it's a great field to get in you're you don't have any range you can always go to a place and get certified in something like all these places that have the mind i mean the body what are they called um where it's like they have the events like uh oh my god i can't even think of them right now but when everybody goes to the events for makeup and stuff, like you can go there for like an hour or two and get certified in something like, like for instance, my school, we do Dermalogica. So you can go to Dermalogica and get certified in something. You can go to, they have a Vita. You can sign up online and take a Vita class or you can sign up to learn about certain skin conditions. You could take a, a class to learn about how to do, if you want to do body treatments, meaning like you want to do bath salts and anything that have to do with the body. You can get certificates and so many things like your education never stops. Like there is a whole wide world of things that you can do. So um, I think it's a great field to get in. I wish I would have got in sooner, but you know, all things happen for a reason. But uh, what else was I going to talk about? Sorry, guys. I'm not really a camera person, but I'm trying to learn to get on camera. I'm probably going to start vlogging soon. I had a smaller camera, but unfortunately the lens, I dropped it and the lens won't come out now. So I got to get it fixed. But if not, I'll just start recording myself doing actual clinical work and doing clients like with my iPhone or I have a friend record me so you guys can see what I do before I graduate. So you guys can see how a facial is done if you never had one before. And also, don't think that you have to know something about the background of aesthetics like facials and stuff. I never got a facial personally until I came to school. Don't feel bad. Like, even if you've never walked into a spa, they're going to teach you all that. Like, you don't have to have a prerequisite to start this program. Like, you can come in not knowing anything and they teach you all this. Like, don't feel like, oh, I'm walking in, I'm above my head because I don't know anything. You don't have to know anything. Like, you can come in basically blind and walk out seeing you know what I mean so don't ever think oh well I have to know something you don't they teach you all that you learn all that if you're a good student you're going to study you're going to do everything that you need to do the requirements to get you know get in get out and like I said it's based off hours so the more you come to school and you know all that stuff then the quicker you get out 
me i basically did field trips and stayed after to help new uh new students come in just to give me extra hours that's why i'm so ahead but um yeah i think i told you guys everything if there's any more questions you guys have or any more concerns like you can leave them at the bottom i'll put my social media I'll put my, my blog because I do have a blog website that you guys can go to that I give tips and trips on makeup and stuff. If you guys need like personal advice or anything like that, you know, I've been around on this earth for about 29 good years and I think I got pretty good advice. So if you guys have any questions, period, about the program, what to expect, what state board is like after I eventually go to state board, I'll do another video. I did a quick video on what was in my kit, but we use the Milady books. Um, M-I-L-A-D-Y and um, we have a book then we have a workbook and then we have a quick little Quizlet book and we use Dermalogica at my school I'm not going to say my school just so nobody comes <laughs> but um, we use Dermalogica and we use image products that's mainly what we use and for wax we use Satin Smooth and yeah that's about it we do Galvanic we do um we do galvanic we do high frequency that's all we do at my school because we don't have like the machines for anything else oh and then we do microdermabrasion but other than that we don't do like too many like outrageous crazy things at my school it's just the basics just enough to teach you but yeah guys so thanks again for watching i hope you guys subscribe i'm going to try to do more videos and see you next time